it's a waste product as well. It's come out of a it's come out of the dig from another building site, uh, which would other be otherwise be going to landfill. <clears throat> it's ton, ten tons of chalk, which has also some clay in it, although we don't know how much because it's just a waste product and we haven't tested it. Um, but we do know that with 10% clay, it will be between two and three times stronger than if it were just pure chalk. Um, but unfortunately, it won't be as pure white. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, apart from that, it's a pretty standard build. It's, uh, we're using commercial concrete formwork and we're using a compressor and a, um, and a pneumatic rammer and all of the materials being loaded by hand. Commercially, we might be doing that with um, a, bit of, a bit of plant, but um, in this case, we're building inside an existing building, so getting plant in is um, more of an issue. Actually, when we built the other wall here a couple of years ago in the, in the yard there, we had a very nice little thing, which is like a little um, um, sort of conveyor belt that could take buckets up to first floor. It's the equivalent of building another half a metre of wall on top. Actually the wall is perfectly, would be first be fine to be a structural wall, but it won't get any harder until it dries. Dry. And it can't dry while the form works in place, so there's, there's no advantage to holding it there. If we were building higher structures, when we built six or seven metre high structures, you have to test the material to know that the wet material will be able to hold all of the load of the wall above it. Um, otherwise, if it couldn't, then you'd have to build it up in stages and let each stage dry. So go up three metres or four metres and let it dry, and then go up another three metres or four metres or whatever, and let it dry. But in this case, it's four metres, and we know that we're in, a, we're in our, our tolerance. If you look back, historically, anything that had bricks and tiles, the clay was dug there. there. And that's why there's a lot of round chalk in the in the chalk areas of the country. <coughs> yeah. Because they didn't have the clay there. Yeah. So that's why round chalk was a big a big thing. Thank you very much everybody.